guys so back tom is back the guy that did all the body work on the truck and he's here to make it complete and make it right he's gonna paint the whole truck back its original color all these places that he repaired as you can see this one in the background there's another one right here there's one up on the front fender and the cab on this corner there's come walk around here there's quite a few spots oh and by the way since last time got me a new dent i don't know how that happened so that one this one right here on this cab corner and come around the front of the truck i'll show you this one too don't show them that that's, that's the surprise and then this is the other spot right here all these spots he's going to paint it back the original color and get the truck looking back pristine and in good condition again so best part about this whole deal is how he's going to paint it mind showing him you got a rattle can yeah out of a spray paint can you got all his vent codes compressed in there Just my $70,000 truck, huh? <laughs> so you had this special mixed up for my my exact paint code. That's actually pretty awesome. So it's got the pearl and a metallic in it and yep. everything. There's a pearl in there, metallic, one stage paint. What's that one? And then this is the clear coat. Oh. This is what we use. Crack the bottom for the hardener to bust in there. You were telling me that's Shake a one-time use deal, right? Yeah. Pretty much, one-time right. use. So we've got it all taped off right now. <laughs> As you can see, they got here yesterday, they started sanding a little bit of this down and getting it prepped just a little bit and actually <clears throat> i drove it home last night and it's been raining all night and raining on it so we just got it pulled back in the shop got it wiped down we're gonna let them get to work and hopefully i have a nice beautiful truck by the end of the day here we go take one spray paint can on a seventy thousand dollar rig <laughs> hope this goes well and by seventy thousand dollars i mean like sixty eight nine ninety nine <laughs> I gotta say, that looks pretty damn good for not drilling a single hole in there. Thought you were gonna have to drill a hole, but made it work. Actually, it's not not too bad. He's not quite done with it. He said he's still gotta grind it all down, get the paint off, and then he's gonna tap shape it. So, gonna get that done real quick, and then this spot will be ready for paint. Gonna finish getting other spots ready for paint, and then and we're gonna paint with a can. Man was not even phased by the drone. He's just working away. So what you got going on over here in the front right now? I want to block sanding it. Make sure it's nice and smooth and straight. Probably recoat it one more extra time to make sure. We block it and take it from there. Uh, I'm going to go check on Tom see what he's looking like. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Saving this bumper. Are you saving the bumper? Yeah, we're saving the bumper. We don't want to get a new one just because we got some sensor holes. They're like close to 900 bucks. Yeah, I ain't trying to spend 900 bucks on a bumper. Man, that's actually very, very smooth. Holy cow. All right, I see you, Tom. I see you, Tom. Me and Keaton just got back from the house, went and picked up our leaf blower, trying to get ready for paint, and it's so dusty in there. I'm just going to go in and just start blowing all the dust everywhere. We're definitely probably gonna have to wait till tomorrow to paint. Let's walk around and see what it looks like. Well, that's smooth, boy. Check out the hood. Man, the hood is nice. Man, man, we almost got her completely ready for paint. We're gonna get all the, try to get the shop de-dustified. Why do I always add fight on the end of words? I don't know. We'll try to get the shop de-dustified. That way, we can come back tomorrow and uh, get this thing sprayed. It's gonna be good, good to go. See you in the morning. All right, guys, we're back again today. Tom's here, where's Tom at? Hey, you trying to hide? Trying to hide from this work? Yep. Well, you better get over fixing my truck. <laughs> no, Tom and his dad are back today, and today's the day that we're gonna paint everything out of an aerosol can. Remember that. We're about to paint everything out of a spray paint can. They're finishing up the last few final touches. You got the bumper good? Dang, that bumper actually looks great. Well, you taping stuff off right now, trying to get it ready for primer? Yeah, just right here for them, dude. I like that exhaust guard you got. 
Yeah, it looks good, huh? Yeah. I like the yellow, it just brings it out. <laughs> They're taping everything off, getting it completely ready. Is this, this spot's ready, ready, huh? Basically gotta water sand it. Just water sand it? Mm -hmm. Okay. We got the heat gun broke out because it's kind of cold here right now. And paint doesn't like to stick to cold surfaces. Nope. It tends to drip off sometimes. That's when you bring your friendly buddy right there to bring the heat to it. We're trying to keep from painting inside the shop because we have a whole bunch of cars in there. And we don't want to get paint everywhere. So we're just out here in the wilderness painting the truck with spray paint. Man, this spot looks so much better. I don't know if you guys can tell, but... That is as straight as it gets right there. All right, let's move on to the next spot. Little water sanding going on here, or what? Pretty much smoother than a baby's butt. Let me see. Man, that looks great. I can see one little divot right here, guys, and he already told me about it. He tried and tried and tried to get that out of there. coming back. Honestly, I'm really not worried about it. It's just one of those little problem areas that he just couldn't get done. The body shop actually told me that I was going to have to get a new hood, and they told me I was going to have to get a new bumper and new panels on the bedside. And yes, I know I have body filler everywhere now, and I'm fine with that. And it's going to look pristine in the end. It's going to last for the remainder of the time that I have the truck or until I total it because probably is what's next anyways water sanding's done so this is pretty much ready for the black primer uh, i'm not sure if we're going to use the black primer anymore what is the difference between the black primer and the gray primer uh because we only make so many cans we're trying to stretch the paint <laughs> <laughs> okay 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 That's hey it. they <laughs> honesty is honesty man it's whatever so this spot right here is in black primer he's hitting it with the heat gun trying to get everything to kind of settle and dry and the next step on this area right here is paint right water, water sand, sand water sand That's why we're trying to get everything dry so why do you water sand explain water sanding well basically it cuts it down and makes it smooth it's all the energy imperfections in the primer and if you look at the primer you see slightly imperfections in the primer mm -hmm. cut all that down and then just like after you get it painted you need to color sand and buff same yeah. decision all right and let me ask you another reason or why they tell you you shouldn't bondo bumpers and we did and i told him it was fine explain why you don't put body filler on bumpers well, for certain reasons a lot of people basically they, this bumper alone is over 900 bucks that's what i'll bracket yeah so a lot of people see a dollar sign there you know bondo you could buy body fillers about 30 bucks a can it glazes another 20 you bondo and glaze it it's good as new so most people will probably charge you for a new bumper and still bumpers are probably a lot better than plastic bumpers of course 100 percent. so yeah. We're going to get that finished out, everything wet sanded, and then it's time for the moment of truth and see this glittery stuff come out of this spray paint can. I hope so. You hope so? I'm going to keep my fingers crossed. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Shit, me too. I'm the one paying for this. <laughs> All right, looks like it's going to be a little bit too cold to try to paint outside, so getting this thing, get her turned on, and pulled in the shop real quick. It is just too cold. Oh, girl, still got it. Because if you didn't know, this truck's got almost 230,000 miles on it and yes it says my cooling slow don't don't worry about all that <laughs> get this door closed real quick this thing already looking better just wait till we get that fresh paint on here all right here it goes this is spray paint out of a can so hey let me see let me see what you got here all right out of a can directly onto the truck this is the paint coat of the truck we'll see how it turns out Man, that's looking good. Yes, sir. I'm done. You're done? <laughs> <laughs> no. Nah. You better keep working, sir. We got to have a pretty truck by the end of the day. It's going to look good. I trust you. I trust you, man. I don't trust you myself. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> don't tell me these type of things. You grabbed the right color? No. You probably grabbed some silver for the vet, huh? I'm trying to get the metallic flake in. <laughs> yeah. This is probably one of the worst environments outside of a paint booth in the cold with a spray paint can that you can do, huh? It makes it harder when it's cold. You like a challenge? Yeah. Now if you come right here, see that metallic in the pearl. Oh yeah. And this is just a basically a one stage, no clear in it. And yeah. It's showing. And whenever the clear gets on, it's really gonna bring it out. Yeah. All right, so all in all, this is really, really working out well. Better than I anticipated it to. This was my idea to put this stuff in a can, and he said he could do it, so I don't know. I'm happy with the results so far. And then whenever this thing gets completely done, we're going to give it at least a week or two to cure, and we're going to get the whole truck paint corrected, get all the scratches out of it, and make it look really pristine. So let me check out what you got here. Some clear coat. Clear coat. You buy that from Body Shop Supply, too? Yep. It's also flammable. As he holds the heat gun to it. So that thing's a one-time use. You have a popper at the bottom, right? Yeah, you gotta activate. basically, this is the hardener. You crack the hardener in there, you mix it up, basically it activate itself, because if you don't, and you just spray it, it'll never dry. Mm. I understand. Take that well, then. I am. <laughs> so as you guys can see, the paint 
has been laid. It's only been, what, 15 minutes since the paint's been on? Yeah, it's about 15, 20 minutes. 20 minutes, something like that. And then you can see right here, it's still kind of scuffed up on the edges, but that clear is supposedly going to bring that back. We're going to see. You see how the paint doled out with the rest of it. So there's definitely a technique to how you're doing it, right? Yeah, basically you got to catch it. I can already see this door shaping up and looking like the rest of it almost. Oh, yeah. Damn, that looks good. You know what, Tom? Just sand the whole truck down. Do the whole truck. All right. <laughs> Give me a scuff pad. Hey, I can see myself in here again. Nice to see my reflection in my truck again. Yeah, we're gonna need our bucket through the hood now. Come on, you too well, short? Yep, because I'm blending all from there. You, you want me to do it? Yeah, you wanna give it a shot? I'll do it. Don't yeah. think I won't, I'll really do it. Hey, if you really wanna try, it's up to you. All right, let me try it. Hold for this real? camera, yeah. All right, my boy Sean. Yeah, just for you guys to know, he taught me everything. Yeah. I really hope I don't miss this up. Just lightly fog it in. Don't go too far with it. No. <laughs> Wait, what do you want me to do? You good. Huh? Oh, come on now. All right, he says I can't do it no more. I don't see what I did wrong. You got to point me out. You got to well, teach me, Dad. Come on. You know, you was like you was spotting. You don't want to do that because you're going to start to see everything. So you just want real smooth back and forth. Pretty much. Okay, all right, all right. You want to give it another shot? I mean, I would like to, honestly. I feel defeated at this point. All right. All right. When you lay it down, just try to follow the flame yeah. on it. See that flame? Yeah. Now once you follow it, oh yeah, you see what I mean? You see now he's never gonna call me. <laughs> Sean making that look wet. Oy. What's up? Hey, come on, hey, call me. All right, I'm not gonna he, put my number up. Just come to his shop. He's got it right here. That looks and nice. And if you guys could see, that looks nice. It's Sean's first time, boys. That's my first time. It's nice to pop my paint cherry. <laughs> <laughs> look at that. He wasn't messing around, guys. Man, that really does look good. Hey, look, Tom, <laughs> you, you look pretty good with that camera over there. Hey, maybe I should just start filming you. Yeah. Look, guys, Tom is actually thinking about creating a YouTube channel. Because of the buzz the last video got, it got over half a million views, and there's so many people in the comments like, get this man a YouTube channel. Someone get this man a YouTube channel. So I'm gonna put Tom's YouTube down in the description. If you wanna go follow Tom, go check him out. He's just a guy trying to get started. Go show him some love because he's definitely shown me some love. Definitely shown Black <laughs> Betty here some love. Damn, that I just dubbed me my truck. That's when you know it's real, when it just flows off the tongue. You don't even mean to say it like that. Like that. And if you guys need any spot painting, your boy's got you. Yeah, yeah, not me. He's though. got not you. Not me. <laughs> Man, that really does look good. Did I do a good job? Is that all? No, I, I probably look just need that. to put that blends on to check it out after this, but it came out great for the first time. I'm going to let you have the can back. That's all. And if you got any complaints, Sean, look at the video. You did. <laughs> Man, guys, seriously, look at that. Like, that is amazing. Out of a freaking spray paint can. Oh, my God. God. You just need the right stuff. Anybody can do it. All right, guys. So Tom actually ran out of paint. Uh, so he's actually going to go get some more mixed up in the morning because it's a little bit too late to get some mixed up today. And we'll be right back in like two seconds. Damn, Daniel. Back at it again with the truck painting. Back at it again. <laughs> All right, guys, so we're back again today, and this is going to be the final day, right, Tom? Hopefully, from no. your mouth to God's ears. <laughs> <laughs> we're out here. He is actually about to start painting on the back of the truck. The front's been done, the doors have been done, and he's still got to blend all that and blend yeah. the clearing, right? Yeah, right now, we're about to do the back. So this is a new day, and this is a new can of paint from a different Fresh place. start. Fresh is it, start. Where is this paint from? Where did we go earlier? West Monroe Car Colors. On a Saturday, coming in clutch. And just fog it in nice and light to give it something to stick Head to. Time, yeah. As you can see, guys, they've been working on this body line a lot. And they've got it to come back probably about 99% of what it was. It curves down just the yeah. very slightest bit. They've been working on it all day, but they, they got it damn close. And honestly, if somebody comes up to me and says, hey man, your body line sure is messed up, I'm probably just gonna slap the shit out of them. No, just joking. I would I'd probably just tell them they got a good eye for that, so. But they have been working painlessly trying to get this thing complete. As you can see, the doors have come out great. This is where he has to blend it. He's gonna be blending here in just a minute, but we're trying to get the rest of everything Thing in the actual black paint of the truck that way everything's ready for clear and blending right pretty much we're outside today it's actually nice and sunny today look at god everything else that's been done on the truck it's been done in just the most humid mug environment and it's really just not been ideal for what we're doing but tom has definitely been making it work somehow a little bit of prayer 
I want cold thing for Louisiana when they mix cans. You have a fan tip. Let me see. Pretty cool. See, so like, watch when I turn it all the way this way. It barely spray, you know, because it makes it smaller. Turn it this way. That's like a wider fan. Oh, that's pretty sweet. So that's why they charge a little extra out here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you get that fancy tip. All right, so we're moving around to the spot that I added. Man, that actually came out really good, Tom. Yeah, I mean, like the way the hit bottom over here, there's a couple of imperfections right there. It looks really, really good, though, for the most part, for sure. That thing was caved in. That thing guys. was caved in. I don't know if you guys remember, but this thing right here was just caved in so oh. bad. And it looks so much better now. All the body lines really look straight, even on the curve. Now, you see how earlier we couldn't really see the metallic flake? Right. Now, look at, the, look at the shine. I almost thought we had the wrong color. <laughs> <laughs> and it looks so much better. No holes. Again, no holes. No holes. Proud of myself. Yeah. <laughs> hey, we got a hole right there, though. We, you got hated on on the internet pretty bad for that hole. Couple holes? Damn, it looks good. It does look good. Ain't even put the clear on yet. No clear, just straight paint. Straight paint. Just I gotta put the clear on there. And especially when everything gets all done, I'm gonna take this thing over to Gavin's shop and let him cut and buff this whole thing and complete paint correct it and probably ceramic coat it and protect mine and Tom's hard work and investment. Hell yeah, <laughs> it's gonna be beautiful. Just think about it, Pop. Coming out great. Not bad. Hey, who he works for? You work for Gas Monkey? <laughs> no, we don't work, it's just wearing his shirt. You kinda got the beard going like Rollins. <laughs> I'm trying to impress him. Trying to impress him? <laughs> hey, Richard, just hit me up if you need this man's number. He's trying to get a job. <laughs> you won't do it. All right, guys, we've moved inside, and Tom says he is ready to start clear coating everything. Make it happen, make it a wrap. This is gonna be the last coat. It should really make it shine and pop. Hey, there's that color starting there's to pop the magic. now. Ooh, boy. She is wet, and guys, let me just show you to give you kind of an idea what we're dealing with right here. Check this out. It is 49 degrees. It is less than 50 degrees inside the shop. So this is definitely not optimal paint condition. We're kind of dealing with a lot, but Tom says he's gonna make it work. This whole panel is being re-cleared. The same with the doors. If you can come over here, you'll see all this paint has been done. The clear was done yesterday, but what he did was he scuffed it up right here. So you see it's kind of dull and it's also kind of dull right here. He's gonna actually clear this whole section from door to door, end to end. So that'll really make this whole side look brand new again man as y'all can see that is looking really immaculate tom this is some damn good work i gotta tell you between you and your dad coming out here got y'all working late night tom is actually four and a half hours away from home it looks so good oh my god i can't wait to get this thing cut and buff it's gonna be so immaculate whenever it gets buff move over here to this cab corner real quick get it wrapped up we ain't got no fancy lighting over here so you can not really tell a major difference but it is definitely about to be complete. After three days. No. No, what happened? The light. It's serious. It didn't hit the truck. No, it's gone. The oil light shine. Ah, <laughs> damn. Come on, Dad. Hey. God, <laughs> Woo, that scared me. Honestly, screw that light. I don't care. That's the second time that light has fallen tonight. Hold on, plug it off. I think it just came unplugged from the back. Come on, baby. You got this. Boom! We're gonna Woo! disconnect it anyway. <laughs> All right, well, this side is complete, and look how great it looks. That is just amazing. And honestly, this is a really nice camera, but it still doesn't do it justice. I mean, it kind of does. You can definitely see it, but oh my God, it really, really does look amazing. Woo! All right, back to the cab corner. Spy a little street bike. This is my buddy ZX1400. Our plan is to fix it and put a man's brake on it and see if we can launch this street bike with a man's brake because odd enough, this bike actually has a hydraulic clutch. So, it's that little hydraulic reservoir right there. Yeah. That's a thought anyways. You about got her warm there. She's pretty hot. Pop that tail light out real quick. And then we're going to paint this last little section up. And that's going to be the last little bit of clear that goes on here. Is that a wrap? 
pretty much. I'm just gonna put a little blend zone right in there. Yep, one more step that I forgot about. Definitely gotta blend everything. I'm gonna let y'all see that part too. All right guys, so Tom has this stuff called blend. Was it nine? blend number nine? Supposedly what the people told us is that it burns the two clears together. We actually just tested it out on a spot right here. It's still wet, so it's not completely cured. He cleared this section and you know he cleared this yesterday. So this clear was hard. So he just basically sprayed the blend number nine right in this area where this line was to blend the two clears together. If you can look on the front right here, you see how there's like a little hazy area. This is where the overspray was from the new clear that he just applied versus the clear that was already dried from yesterday right here. So what he's going to do is take this blend number nine and spray it right there and see if it'll blend those two different clears together. And you're just supposed to really light mist this stuff. And the heat gun is only necessary when if it's cold as shit like it is right now. Yeah, you can already see not as much of a difference as it was. It all kind of blends together. And you can see right there where that stuff's not quite dried yet. Your eyes, your tears, you get it cut and buff. Yeah. You're looking good. All right, guys. So Tom is blending in the hood right now. The bumper is fresh painted, especially on this corner. Actually, Tom let me clear it just while I go. So I did the clear coat on it. Tom did the paint. And now he's blending. Gotta say, man. Man, when we started this, I was kind of skeptical, but... Hey, that's why seen is relieving. I asked this man if he could do spray paint instead of actually out of a compressor and a real paint gun. He said, ah, it'd probably look better with a real paint gun, but I'll do it if you want me to. So, that's exactly what he did, and we made it happen. Day three, wrapping up. Me, Tom, his dad. Special thanks to Daniel. Came out the other day. That's Tom's boy. And uh, we got this thing wrapped up, man. We're about to get the masking tape pulled off of it whenever it dries. Also, just got the wheel put on in the back. Man, it looks freaking amazing. Just imagine whenever everything is completely unwrapped, it's going to look insane. What you think about it? It's looking good. Want to go take it out mud it? Oh, hell no. <laughs> That's what we need to do. Right now? Get some mud on the Let's go. Tires. Hop in. Come let's on, go. let's go. Come on. We'll just cut, cut buff it afterwards. <laughs> no, it's not happening. Man, this thing has really turned out great. Look at the paint. I don't know about you guys, but I'm 100% happy. 100% happy. Can't wait to get this thing cut and buff and all shined up. All right, guys. So Tom has completely painted the whole truck out of a spray paint can. It has left me freaking speechless, honestly. You know. Y'all know how great it looks. We did it the best we could with the materials working, especially out of a rattle can. Yeah. So we, we gave it the best. For sure, man. Honestly, you knocked it out of the park. I, I couldn't expect it to turn out half this good. Honestly, out of a rattle can. I, I There's no way that I thought that I would fall in love with my truck again, especially after painting it with a spray paint can. That is a fact. And that's gonna be a wrap for Tom's visit here. Me and y'all still got some things to do. Well, it's been about a week later and I know what you're thinking. It looks like crap right now, but that's because I'm sanding it. And don't worry, highly trained YouTube personnel. I saw how to do this on a video, so I'm just winging it. It's my first time, but it's gonna look good here in just a second. Watch. Looks like shit, Sean. Oh yeah? Your mama's so old, her breast milk look like when it blow out. Looks good as new. Actually came out really good. Really didn't expect spray paint to come out that good to be completely honest, but it looks freaking fantastic. Obviously I'm not gonna bore you guys with making you watch me buff the whole entire truck. So as you can see, the front still needs to be done. This is what it looks like before it's cut and buffed. It's kind of dull, but I don't know if the camera man, can you get a good angle on the back and how slick this looks? It's really turned out great. And that was just cut and buff. Actually the first time I've ever done it, and it turned out really really great so that concludes today's video guys obviously painting out of a spray paint can it is isn't the best way to do things but it works just fine and you can do it from home or you can call tom and let him do it either or it honestly turned out way way better than i expected i didn't think it was going to turn out near this good but i am thoroughly impressed and i'm going to get the whole rest of the truck cut and buff then we're going to take this thing to gavin and he is going to do the rest of the little paint correction details and then ceramic coat the whole truck. So that's gonna be a thing in the near future. I appreciate you guys watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that like button. 
Actually, it goes this way. Subscribe too while you're at it. Thank you for watching, guys. I wanted to give a special shout out to Tom's niece. And being here for the last few days, me and Tom have gotten to know each other pretty well. And Tom is actually just an outstanding man. And he's got family, just like everybody else in this world. And Tom's niece, Kendra, she's eight years old. She's in Houston. And right now is currently battling bone cancer. And apparently, she stumbled across the channel and mine and Tom's earlier video. And uh, she was blown away. <laughs> she was blown away to see her uncle on camera, and she's a fan of the channel now, so I just want to tell you, Kendra, thank you for watching. I really appreciate it to the bottom of my heart. I will be praying for you personally, and to everybody out there, please say a quick prayer for her. You know, God is God is an amazing man, and I've seen him do amazing things, and I believe that firsthand. So please say a quick prayer for Kendra, and Kendra, we hope you get better. We're going to be sending you some Next Chef merch. That way you can look good and rock that Next Chef merch, and send us a picture or two, all right? We love y'all. On the 17th, she's doing surgery, and I know God, God's going to put his hands. That's right. That's right. Guys, this is going to be it for me and Tom. Me and Tom are parting ways. Sir? Nice yeah, doing business with you, man. Nice doing business with you. Never meet by accident. We meet oh, by I, I, sh I should probably pay you, right? Yeah. No, that's I okay. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Bye, Felicia. <laughs>